so how to get a vlsi internship what is the best time in a year to apply for a vlsi internship and if you don't land into a vlsi internship then do we have anything plan v we'll discuss about everything in this video you just need to like this video and let's get started Hello new people, so myself Rasdeep and I am in a mission to decode this VLSI industry from my own experience. So if you want to join this mission then please don't forget to subscribe this channel and let's get back to our topic. So if your placement office of your college supporting for the internship then it's well and good. But after that also if you can't get an internship then let's have some way, some trick in this video by which you can convert or you can increase the probability to get an internship. And here I am assuming that you already know all your concepts. You have already prepared your CV perfectly, right? Because that's the first step. Your CV need to be perfect. But when you are preparing your CV, you can apply one thing and that is customizing your CV. So see, anytime any company will hire you for an internship it would be minimum of six months right and it is a very short period of time so they will prefer a candidate who have some knowledge at least for which they are hiring for for that specific project for example they are hiring for one of the projects where they want to build a low power memory circuit right and in your cv you have no projects or probably you have some projects on the memory design but that project is not explained perfectly in your cv so that time they will prefer any cv where they can see that hey student have a project on memory design or low power memory design so they will prefer to shortlist that candidate so the first and foremost important trick you need to apply and that is customizing your cv according to the rules so you need to see the advertisement first and how you need to see those advertisement i'll come those things later but after you know that there is an opening for a xyz role you go there you read their job description and after that try to feel that the project you have done in your project which one is correlating with them so for here we have one example and that is the opening in the micron i'll tell you later how to get these all openings but here if you go to the description and you can find out they have explained few of the things for example the knowledge of c plus plus and digital electronics right so there probably if you have some project where you have applied c plus plus knowledge you can show that project in the top of your cv because i have said it many times that whenever a recruiter shortlisting your cv they don't have time they will only see the half of your cv why half of your cv because anytime you open your a4 size in your laptop or in your desktop in one go you can see only half portion so if they are very short in time so they will just see the half portion of your cv and if they are they find something interesting and what are the interesting thing one could be you are from top tier colleges another could be you have a high cgpa but the most important thing and for a internship and that is a good cv in that part so probably you need to see all the job description and after that you need to customize your cv top position would be same your education detail cgpa all those things would be same for all cv but the project section will get customized for example here they have also written asic performance modeling so probably if you have some project where you have developed asic thing using very log or something or in some job description they directly give tools name like i candidate uh, should know virtuoso should know cadence should know synopsis or should have verse with some eda tool so that time if you have any project in open source for example if you have done some project on India tool called x kim or magic vlsi so you can put those things first in the project list and then you should explain a little bit because sometimes we just write that hey i have designed a 32 bit memory uh, low power uh, high efficiency but how you achieve low power how you achieve efficiency those things you need to write in next two line and that is the trick actually like how you should explain for example if it is a low power then probably you have used a low node technology 28 nanometer technology or 65 nanometer technology so those things you can explain quickly not quickly but quickly is not a right word but yeah briefly because your cv should be of one page only 
if you make two three pay cv nobody gonna watch those things so this say so this is a skill and that you need to learn and how you could learn this thing i had made one video you can check out this one so there you can see my cv how i try to make my cv brief so now the main question and that is how to know the openings nobody will send you emails that hey openings are there in intel are there in microchip and you need to apply you need to search and the most easiest way is to explore your google for example if you see here this is my google and here i'll just type simply i'll type i want to get some internship so i'll write vlsi uh, vlsi internship probably it will give me some answer and perfect it is giving me some some result here see uh, in some company which uh, this company i don't know exactly what did they mean but you got some answer right you can also specify your internship for example i want to get an internship in micron so i can directly write micron internship and see give you some result and for example the previous example i was showing it is this asic modeling you can also have some other openings also for example i want some internship in samsung so i'll just type samsung and wow i got something in chennai you have something and this is hiring for internship 2022 20, batch so uh, let's go there and let's see what's this there and it is a two month paid internship perfect perfect for for mtech guys whose major project taking most of the time so still if we they, they still if they want to do their internship they can take up this thing so like way you need to search the thing and there are many other way also like you can directly search the career site of that particular company for example i am very much interested in intel i want to get a job in intel an internship in intel so i'll just write intel and the career and boom i got the career site of intel i go inside and after going inside probably i'll have some filter and that filter i'll write that hey i am searching for an internship so you just need to explore a bit in one go probably you won't find so here we are getting something like see open position so let's go there search job and we are here and in in, in the keyword i can write intern ship and let's search it and this thing is not one time job this thing you need to do weekly twice thrice or if you can every day because every day there are new openings and if you miss those opening then somebody else will get those opportunities right so see after going there i think we'll have something for location also if i put india uh, india then let me see if i get something yeah you just explore this thing so if you go there then also i think you will find many many openings are there and i'm shooting it now in the winter season so probably winter is not a best time to apply for any internship because that time very very less amount of internship are open so what's the best time to apply for the internship i'll come there a little later other way could be that you will be having a great network of seniors right you probably have some connection with your seniors so you just need to keep on talking with your seniors they would be working on some established position and they would be knowing some internship position which is not in online so you can take their help also you can build a strong network in the linkedin in other job searching portal probably you can also ask them in the dm section they hey this is my cv this is my role very briefly and can you please refer me for this position for example you got a job id from micron side that yeah this job id internship is open so you just need to give them that job id and just request them hey could you please refer me to that position but don't <laughs> but don't send it to me because uh because practically it's impossible for me to see all the dm so i'm very sorry but hey you can try this trick to all other industry people whom you know so that's why you need to build a strong network in the linkedin that is very important and in linkedin we have some other tools by which you can find internship and that is when you open your linkedin right after you open your linkedin there Ha linkedin have some beautiful thing and that is you can search the hashtag for example i was searching the hashtag internship you can follow that hashtag so anytime anybody put this hashtag 
for any post you will get that post and generally whenever in the linkedin they post for internship they put this hashtag so if i go inside that hashtag hashtag internship if you don't know how to find it you in the search section you just need to write internship like this okay so after i go inside and i can see hiring now and there you will get all kind of job not only vlsi so you need to filter it out uh, for the vlsi for example first one probably is not a vlsi job so here you need to actually search a little but again this is a very interesting tool and we have also many other interesting hashtag for vlsi domain like vlsi jobs or vlsi training so all those hashtag you should follow and you should keep visiting your linkedin every day just cut off your time from facebook from instagram and use that time to browse linkedin it will build your career trust me and then there are other very good um, sites for example internshala and there are many actually and there are also all those internship listings keep on happening you need to use your internet your network wisely don't use to see those reels and shorts only and after all of this thing if you have some relatives in the big companies uh, or, or in the vlsi then you can shamelessly ask them hey can you please provide me one internship in your company and that is all okay and lastly you can do one thing and that is a little bit rare but it could also improve your chance to get a core vlsi internship and that is creating a internship position so how to create an internship position and that is writing to all those startup management startups are very small the, in the bangalore if you go to bangalore you can see there are many vlsi startups probably i don't know their name but you need to search them right and uh, in the linkedin also probably they have their pages they have their management people there also so if a vlsi company have only 100 employee right and you know of, after following their linkedin that they are working on some project some specific pro project for example they are designing some rf front end and they are they are designing a lna low noise amplifier and probably you know how to design a lna or in your project sometime you have built one lna so that time you can directly connect with them you can directly dm them with your project documentation that hey i found out that you are working on this project and i have some expertise on building an lna so could you please help me with an internship which will not only help me to build some expertise but which will help you also with some manpower or like this a straightforward email. nothing like you are requesting them you are giving them an offer which is win-win because they will get a manpower through you with a less salary and you will get the expertise so like this way if there is no internship position open also then also you can create it but for all those things which i am telling from last five to ten minutes you need to spend your time on linkedin on internet wisely on linkedin if you find out the profile of a vlsi company again probably you can find out like this probably i have never tried vlsi startups or probably in from quora or somewhere you can get the names of vlsi company startups and then in the linkedin you can search for them for example one of the company which is startup working on electronics is sky root which is working on aerospace so probably let me go there let me see if i can have their page see they have a page so likewise you can have all the startup page and with linkedin search you can see you can filter like what this search should go to people to company to post or to the job opening so probably i want to see few of the people who are working on this sky road so i'll click on people so there is some people so you can go to their pages you can find out in which position they are working if they are manager it's great you can connect with them if they employ you also general employee then also they can help you with some internship but to create an internship position probably hr or a manager could help you so likewise you can search and create your own internship position now the question is that what is the best time in a year to apply for internship or when the most internship vacancies are open online and that is your three months of the year and that is from january to march from january to march most of the internship vacancy are open if you now like today is november so if you now go online you could find very less internship but there would be openings for sure i have shown you right but from january to march there are plenty of opening that time you need to apply for at least 100 position with 100 customized cv 
I'm joking. You don't need to have a hundred customized CV. Probably ten customized CV will serve for those different hundred positions. Because in VLSI there are few defined positions like front end, back end. In front end you can have a verification angle or somebody using a system Verilog, somebody using a Verilog. So if they are using Verilog, then you can directly put your Verilog project top than the other so likewise probably 10 customized cv will help you to apply for 100 internship positions so don't miss out this thing in 2023 if you want to get a summer 2023 internship now let's talk about plan b like if you don't land into a vlsi internship then what you can do so for that you need to know what are the type of internship are available vlsi is just a small part of electronics right in electronics we also have the software part and also also the like sensor like pcb designing there are many other segments right so if you can't land into those lucrative probably the cheap designing internship then you can look for those position for example in software position for example c++ is greatly used in vlsi design python is greatly used in vlsi design any scripting language tcl or the linux knowledge also are greatly used in vlsi design so if you could get an internship of those domain like from the IT, uh, you need to work on Python. Then also it's win-win situation. Trust me, don't ignore those internship if you can't land into a core VLSI internship. You can also go for PCB design. PCB design is very much similar with the VLSI routing layout so you can go for those and anyway whenever a company will give you a job because you are doing an internship to get a job a permanent job so anytime a company will give you a permanent job their main requirement is skill for sure but there is a secondary requirement also and that is are you capable of working in a corporate system or not like what is your communication skill those soft skill and if you have an internship in some other domain also like it or purely software development then also it proves that you have that secondary requirement but in plan b we have something else also and that is taking up a project assistantship job now what is this see project assistantship generally are for two years so probably if you want to do an internship during your college time right but if you are graduating this year and probably you are not lending up to a vlsi job directly then you can explore this project assistantship also and project assistance is actually very easy to get because there the competition is very less maximum people don't know about this option and who give project assistance job and they are the premier institute of india for example iit iic uh, nits and many many other government college of engineering they keep on floating the project assistance so for that for example i'll give you one example and that is if you go to iit delhi again here also you can directly search I did the project assistantship. I already searched for you. So if I go there, advertisement for project position, and here after going there, you can find out the Department of Electrical Engineering, and you can see there are some opening drone technology or something. Very interesting, right? So you can see the advertisement and maximum of students actually don't go there don't know that these things are existing because you need to go to each and every institute and you need to search for their openings are there or not but again i have seen many people who haven't done their btech or mtech from top tier but they have done project assistantship one year two year in iits and after that they got a great job i had one colleague who was a project assistant in iit delhi with me when i was doing mtech and after two years he got placed in cadence in bangalore so these are the few things which can improve your probability of getting an internship in vlsi domain if i'm missing something and you know something else then please write down in the comment section it will help everybody of us and before you go from this video please don't forget to like and we'll meet in our next video till then tata bye bye